intro. There's so much trouble. I know. Well, I it's that stupid forerunner, man. Can you believe that? Like, <sighs> I don't know what to do with that. You're that. always trouble. Let me two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, these badass mother effing Fords we all seem to love to drive. This is your Ford Talk Live presented by who? Nobody right now. Cricket? Anyone? Anyone? We'll find somebody eventually. Uh, <laughs> what is going on, everybody? I hope you're having, I can't say a Monday. We're having a good Tuesday. Yeah. It's been wet and wild here in uh, Middle Tennessee. Uh, Allie, how is your Tuesday going up there in the uh, Michigander? It was actually like 75 here today. I know I was super jealous that you finally got the weather that yeah, we she, had last week. You had the top back or, or you did, did. Your social media pictures and yeah, I got to do a little bit of social media stuff. Got to hang out, pack for Supercell. Wait, I mean, what's I that? My stuff. I didn't pack my stuff. <laughs> I was going to say, I haven't packed anything yet. I still, have, I still have Bronco hair mess. So, well, yeah. Yeah. Who's going to complain? They only complain about my hair when I don't wear a hat, so don't worry about it. Um, I hope you had to call, them out. <laughs> call myself out. I hope everybody's having a fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, Tuesday because next week is Bronco week here on the channel. It's just all kinds of Bronco news. It's going to be all kinds of fun. We're going to meet with uh, tonight's guest. He'll be, uh, we'll be in his booth and uh, having kind of fun. Allie's going to be all over the, she's a social butterfly. She'll be all over the place throwing stickers everywhere, I'm sure, somehow. Yeah. Um, I, how is the reception for that? So if y'all don't know, if you're coming to the Supercell, Allie, what is it, 11 or so that you're doing that? 11 on Saturday. It oh. became a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> um, <laughs> even the early gens are getting stickers made now. Nice. nice. So awesome. I had made a post on Bronco Drivers stuff um, about it, and then everyone started tagging the early gen people. And then on Auto Nation Illustration, I noticed he started posting like a bunch of early gens and even like Nashville early Broncos is doing it. Yeah, so it's going to be that. a good time. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. follow John and him pretty, pretty regularly over there. And I keep get, trying to get him on the show. And every time I talk to him about doing it, they've got something They're like, hey, let's get you on the show. And then I have something. So it's just eventually, <laughs> you know, duck, duck, goose, we'll get there. See, uh, look, even Rob had his stickers delivered today. Nice. Well, we were supposed to. Yeah, that'll be here tomorrow. Oh, um, yeah, I had some. I have the rest of mine by Monday because I leave Ooh. Tuesday at like five a.m. <laughs> well, you better tell UPS get it in gear. Um, it's funny. There was somebody I saw a comment today. Somebody, and, and this is going to be a super cell centric show, and we're going to bring our guests in just a second. But I seen somebody comment, and I shared it with you guys about, hey, I'd like to get some patches done for super cell. Do you think it can happen? I was like, <laughs> no. Wow. The mold itself had, takes two or three weeks. Yeah. To so I actually have some that are supposed to be here by Friday, and we'll see if they do, because I even knew I was cutting it close, and I ordered them two or three, like three weeks ago, um, but I didn't change my design, and he still had the mold. So yours was just a reorder? Mm hmm Yeah. Well, uh, and if you guys, I, I like the little stickers much better than the duck thing the Jeeps guy do. And, uh, you know, we got a couple Jeep guys that we're going to bring in here in a minute and we'll have to give them a little <laughs> bit of shit about that. Um, and I don't think, I don't think they're duck people either, really. Um, but, uh, Mr. Allen with Diabolical is going to be in here and, uh, he's bringing his Bronco out this year. Yeah. So, Exciting. uh, you'll get to see what in, something's installed properly. Not like if me <laughs> and Kelly were to do it, it will be done whoa, whoa, properly. whoa. Well, not like if you. I did it. Thank you. Did you get your <laughs> lift done yet? It's at the shop right now. Yeah, it's 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 
they had to overnight something that uh, Icon forgot to put in the box. So um, nice. Yeah, well, yeah. not not that nice because we'd like to have that thing home by now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but let's do this. Let's bring in Mr. Allen. In oh, look, you know, <laughs> their phones over over there. Quick. Like we're not doing anything. What are you? What are <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay. They're trying to find. Oh, they got ducks. ducks. <laughs> they got ducks. <laughs> um. First off, Alan, you oh. need some diabolical ducks. That's what that, that I think you need is diabolical yeah. ducks. Oh, that'd be funny. And uh, we, gotta come up, we gotta come up with a really cool design that's totally just that's us. Different. Right. Yes. The, the crossbones. Just have the a normal duck with a black face and the crossbones or something. Just really screw with people. Way to ruin the whole creative, cre creative. <laughs> Never mind. I'm out. <laughs> I've been looking at numbers all day and doing number things all day, so my brain Jillian's just went. Done. <laughs> yeah, she's done. She's fried hey, today. Um, but Alan, how are you guys doing out there in Salt Lake City, Utah? Is uh, the skiing still going on, or what's going on out there weather-wise? Yeah, they're probably still skiing up in the mountains. It's still got snow up there. As you were mowing your lawn today. As I was mowing the lawn today. <laughs> <laughs> but it, hey, it did. It snowed at my house a week ago, so. Well, my buddy, my buddy lives in, uh, I think he's in Wyoming. No, no, he's in Nebraska. Nebraska. They had a blizzard this weekend, and then it was like seventy-five today with no snow anywhere. I was like, That's... yeah, the bl in the blizzard that they had, they were blacked out. They had no electricity either. Oh. Seventy-five degrees. Yep. I ran, I ran into a uh, Sprinter van, seventy-year-old couple traveling cross country. They got stuck in that. Oh man. And no Talking thank to you. them this morning at a uh, Sprinter van dealer, so oh, oh. yeah, <laughs> no bueno. Once we get that first sixty degrees, I'm done. Just yeah, yeah. No, no more. You don't need to do a late. We no. get this tease. We get these. They call Blackberry winters. They have a name for every cold front that comes through here. And so in February, we can get some 75, 80 degree days, and then all of a sudden you're back to forties, and you're like. It just screws with me so bad, and I'm yeah, like, and we're I, like this big dust bowl here, yeah, and so things will right start now. to blow. Things will start to bloom, and so then everybody gets sick, and then it freezes out again, and then it tries to bloom again, and then everybody gets sick. It's just this vicious cycle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's a lot of fun. bipolar. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent bipolar, and it's not me. <laughs> Welcome yes, to me. Just weekend. saying. Or just weather. the weather. So, Alan, you guys, <laughs> obviously, you're coming to Supercell. Um, you're bringing your Bronco this year, which I'm pretty excited by. We got to see it last year at the uh, Stampede. You yep. had your Bronco there. Uh, I'm assuming there is there. Well, I can't say I'm assuming. Are there any new any new cool products in that thing that people can see this year? Yeah, actually, I just sent you a picture thinking, damn, I didn't send him a picture. Um, I just emailed it to you. Um, so I've been asked for a long time, you know, people like how we build the quality, the, you know, the thicker aluminum, the sturdy and everything. And I've had a, a guy in Idaho hit me up about a month ago at the Salt Lake Off-Road Show. And he was really pushing for me to, to make the Molly panel going, you know, down the middle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've seen other people that have do it and I, I get it. They're out there, but the biggest complaint is they're flimsy. They're weak. And I, I made one. It's really solid. We call it the spine. We don't do weak. Um, so it's got a crossbar. It works with the hard top, soft top. Um, I got the front section done. That'll be on my Bronco when I'm out there. Um, let's see. We'll have the slide floor drawer system, uh, the roll bar molly panels. Um, we're looking at seeing if we can get it in time. The two door uh, seat installed stage that raises up the back end just a little bit. So if you're sleeping in it with the seats folded or dogs in the back, a lot of people have been asking about that. Um, the biggest one is I just got it back from powder coat and I missed putting it on the pallet, shipping out to you. So we have it, um, is the Clyde. Um, Clyde's the name for short for Clydesdale, big ass horse. Cause the two door seat deleted drawer system is nine inches tall. 42 by 42 and it is a it's a beast, it's a beast. you know it makes it uh a super all aluminum makes it super sturdy you know sleep platform and a huge drawer so i'll have the prototype out there uh anybody wants to walk home with that come see me um i'm sure they got, could drive home with it right we don't got, have 
Yeah. Or is that part of the deal? You're going to get such a good deal, you have to walk. Hey, if a, t- if a, t- if a, t- if a two-door is there with the seats out, it slides right in. Yeah. Um, and then um, the other thing that we've been asked about is doing the slide floor for the locker. Uh, so that way you can do a pull-out fridge uh, in a locker with the seat in. Uh, so we'll have that. We'll have a display on the table. We'll also have one installed in Mark's two-door. Um, what else? Well, you'll have the stage with potentially a slide floor too, though, right? Yeah, the stage can also have the slide floor added. So if you want to make it like a little drawer, because uh, otherwise, you know, the stage being... That we're doing in steel just to help keep the cost down. Uh, but you'll be able to add the aluminum uh, slide out floor so that way it uh, becomes a drawer system. All right. So what you email me, I can share, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, Kelly's trying to bring this up here real quick. But the early, early prototype. So no, that's actually it. Well, just not powder coated. Yeah, not powder coated. And it'll be powder coated to match my Bronco build, which is the kind of like the hammer tone off white. Um, but everything is going to be hammer tone black. Right. So this, this mounts, you said this goes to the, uh, what do you call the shade? The, so, so the visor shelf is for the two slots at the bottom of that. Mm-hmm. So it attaches to a visor shelf. So anybody that's got an existing visor shelf, this will work with it. Um, oh, nice. and then it's, that's the crossbar. Um, that's three sixteenths aluminum. It, I'm telling you, I could do pull-ups on it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's solid. But uh, we made that first section of it by the slotted holes, which is towards the front. You know, a solid piece so that uh, it's easier to mount radios and stuff like that up there. Um, right, which is a big problem in the Bronco is like having having places to mount stuff because the dash is pretty unique. You know, it, it doesn't lend itself to like attaching a ton of things to it. Yep. And what I like is, you know, like on my visor shelf, I like the uh, Maba Armor uh, phone mount that's also a uh, fast charger. Mm-hmm. Um, I mount it up there so it's out of the way. It's actually still a little bit higher than what your rear view mirror is, you know. Right. So it's nice. It's not over the, you know, the, the front of the dash and cluttering up everything and you know, center of the dash. Right in the way of the windshield. And that's, you know, that's just our kind of like aviation background and everything. And even Brandon, who's, you know, a two jeeper gladiator and a JKU. Uh, <coughs> mm-hmm. I don't know what gave it away with the Oracle light bar behind <laughs> you, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the gladiator. Yeah. That does look really good on the back of this gladiator though. Um, but I've got the flush mount, uh, uh, Tail lights on mine from Oracle, and I've got their um, headlights too, right? Yeah, the headlights. I'm trying to remember what the name of the Oculus. Oculus. So nice. Those, yeah. things are, those things are really nice. They're bright. Yeah, I think that's the ones we're running is the Oculus. The, yeah, I think so. You're the running colored time, lights, if I remember first right. Time I was driving, it was weird seeing you know street signs and uh, speed limit signs looked purple. No reflection. <laughs> <laughs> because of the tone of the light. You know, it, it was kind of throwing me off, and I realized the lights were a lot brighter. So I've gotten used to it, though. You know, it just it doesn't bug me at all. Just... Well, you're a Jeep guy. You're used to weird colored lights all over the place. And That's angry right. Grills and... <laughs> if, if they ain't flashing red and blue, I'm okay. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. He, he is everybody... They have rock lights and all that stuff. So Because I'd get on him about having gaudy stuff on his vehicle. So, um just because they make all that stuff doesn't mean you got to put all of it on. Right? Yes. Right. Yeah. And some people think that though. And that's you me. do the Jeep shows. So you see like people, I mean, it's fun to build the vehicles. Don't get me wrong. And people yeah. can personalize them however they want to. But sometimes you're just like, Hey man, like 30 lights was probably enough. I don't think a UFO needs to see you. Um, the Hubble doesn't need to shine down on you, but, um, so with, I know you, you've done the slipstream. I know you, you've updated the slipstream because you sent us some, uh, some parts to update ours. Uh, can you tell us a little bit as I bring it up here, kind of what you've done to maybe simplify your, uh, your security cabinet? So what we've done is, um, you know, it took me a little bit of time to figure it out. And it, it actually ended up being a pretty simple solution was, um, 
adding spin levers uh, to the folding top and the wall. You know, one of the things that we've been known about is the folding removable wall, the folding removable top, you know, in about 60 seconds. Uh, but those were quick release pins that go into the side frames, you know, the vertical frames and the side frames. Mm-hmm. And now um, I designed um, a spin lever, uh, steel, multiple bends, and it's like a freedom panel handle on your hard top. So you reach in from the tailgate, there's no more pins. There's a spin lever on left and right, and then a spin lever in the middle, and then quick release pins at the very front of the folding top, just so it's got a pivot point and an attach point. Right. Um, and then on the wall, super easy. If you got a ton of gear in the back end, but you want to access something from behind the seat and put the wall down to get to it easier, mm-hmm. or something mounted on your molly panel on the wall, you just reach in and spin the lever and wall comes down that quick 10 I, seconds well i have to tell you this and i haven't told you this so we where did what's our bronco at and somebody brought it back the other day um wait what somebody brought they were messing with our bronco the other day we had it ford a, maybe <laughs> but the guy comes in and goes hey i fixed your uh your um um tuffy box and i was like <laughs> you talking about Tuffy box like he goes yeah i just took some zip, zip ties and because kelly had taken the lid out and it was just she just set it back up there so it was rattling just a little bit and i think they were driving around checking something out and i was like great now i gotta cut all these stupid zip ties off here because of some guy wanting oh they didn't do it wasn't the Tuffy table on the back that he was no, talking about no he was talking it was about actually the slipstream. The slipstream yeah I was like, Tuffy wish so they built something. In my cool. defense, I took the pins out and I told him, I said, Hey, my back is out. I can't get those pins in. And he doesn't remember me telling him no, that they needed to be put back in. I just never think of it. And so <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not Tuffy. So to it's get better. our Bronco ready, part of getting our Bronco ready, I'm gonna have to cut a bunch of zip ties, I guess, because they thought they were <laughs> yeah. doing us a favor <laughs> to of, make yeah. I was like, and it's all just because the pins weren't in there. But I was like, for one, don't mess with my aftermarket. Hey, and if anybody works for a Ford dealership, please don't. If you see, was it Ford? Who else would have had it? I can't. Oh no, it was Catskin. Or when you took them to get Ford dealerships, they're the worst. So it was. It was. We had our Catskin (laughs) seat covers put in, and that was that guy that did it. It was the installer. Yeah. (laughs) No, leave it alone, man. You should have said it wasn't Tuffy, but thank you. Yes, I did. No, I, I did it for <laughs> Hey, that's when you should have said, hey, I appreciate your vinyl you did on my vehicle. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, kind of kind of the same, same thing. thing yeah. Same thing as cat skin leather. Yeah, yeah. it's close. <laughs> it's, it's pleather. Yeah. Um, so so, so, our- real, so one, real quick, one of the really cool things about those um, spin levers is – it's a retro kit. I made it as a retro kit. So like your Bronco, that's a year old kit. You can install those in your older kit. So we have that available. So people can actually uh, switch to the spin levers from the quick release pins. And they're on all the new kits. And they're standard on all the new kits. Yes. Yeah. No, I've, I've, we, I can't say enough about your, your slipstream is because, and Mm -hmm. if you're new to the channel, listen to this. I pursued Alan. I went to Alan because I was like, this is an interesting product. I like it um, because it it wasn't like, speaking of Tuffy, like and nothing against what they do, but they you lose so much cargo space with what uh-huh. they do. And Trust she, me, we tried it before. No, not the box. <laughs> oh, not the box, but we did try yes. that drawer. Their mm-hmm. their system is just, it's, it, it's somebody hurried. They didn't think about the use of the vehicle where you guys, even though y'all come from a Jeep background, which is great for Bronco guys, new Bronco guys, yeah, because yeah. I don't come from your Jeep background. You you I got a Jeep. I got a Jeep. You own a Jeep. But I wouldn't say I so you have a Jeep, Alan. But it's <laughs> but but knowing how the Jeep guys used it, the rear of this thing is similar to the to the Wrangler. I mean, so you guys knew real quick how to do it. Where Tuffy, I just think, was like, uh, ah, we'll just here, here for it. We just did something. Well, the biggest yeah. thing with the Tuffy is, you know, there's again, uh, I saw the Tuffy guys at SEMA. We talked to them, and of course, yeah. Brandon and I were standing next to each other. We were kind of looking at the best top stuff. And next thing you know, there's a Tuffy rep standing next to his big Tuffy badge on. And he goes, yeah, we know who you guys are. <laughs> That's exactly how he said it. It was it was kind of funny, but he was really nice. We ended up talking for about 10 minutes. And, you know, the whole thing is it, it's a price point. Yeah. You know, it's easy to get with Ford points. 
we understand it, we get it, but that's why there's a difference between uh, a Raptor and a base model. You know, mm-hmm. they both kind of do the same thing, just one does it really, really better. So you're what you're saying is you're the Raptor of security enclosures for the Bronco. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> We're, we're, well, yeah, we're, we're the cat skin, not the feather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's funny because we were, we were just at uh, two weekends ago, we were at Easter Jeep right, Safari say, yeah. in uh, Moab, and we were right next to the Deviate guys. Mm-hmm. And they tried coming out with their own Tuffy style box. And, you know, we were kind of wondering if we were going to see one on one of their vehicles. And, Brandon went over and was talking to him. He goes, yeah, we didn't, we didn't really do well with it. It wasn't a good design and you guys make the best thing out there. So yeah. he, he says, Every, everybody knows you guys. So nice. we don't want to compete. We're like, <laughs> that's good to hear from other manufacturers for yeah. sure. Yeah. We tried, we tried, we just couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, part of what I like about to your slipstream is how integrated you can add features to it. If you know, cause initial cost is there, but if you want to down the road, Hey, I need the Molly rack or whatever. Like we have this on ours, even though I don't have an ax or a shovel really to throw on there, I guess probably for Alan's sake, I need to throw something on there for the show, but, um, <laughs> well, Alan, I'll just let you run over to uh, Rhino again and, uh, I'll end up with whatever you drag over there. somehow. <laughs> but, um, but this is like, Storage is at a, a premium in these things. You've, yeah. you've noticed that. I mean, we have softball gear and all this, and sometimes we might need, you know, whether it be a jack or something like that to what we want to attach to this, and everything is in the way is all loose. The way you can attach this down is pretty nice. Yeah, and, I, and I'm big about everything having a place and every place having a purpose. Yes, yes she is. So once we get organized i yell at him when he puts it where it's not supposed to go so he he very much hears that so and and the biggest thing for me is we don't want to take away from what the factory does right yeah you know, this is this works with everything bolts to factory locations you still retain your d-rings unless you put the slide floor or the drawer system in but then we make sure that we add a tie down rails on the side of it so you can still throw stuff and lash stuff down to the top of the drawer top you know, so and you uh, hear all that, folks. That means no drilling into your vehicle. <laughs> if, you go, if you go to pick up a drill, you need to stop. <laughs> Watch call the number. Yeah. Call the number on the website. You get me, and say I'm about ready to drill something, and I'll say no. Hundred percent. The <laughs> only reason you should be using a drill is to screw in bolts that have their home that they're going to. There should not be any other drilling that is going on. Well, I tell people not to use the the drill and everything for doing, you know, when they're putting on the bolts and stuff, because some people will over torque them, you know, and you'll snap, gotcha. you'll snap the post off of the hinges. You know, people use, you know, a little, you know, Makita impact or DeWalt impact, you know, quarter drive socket, and they just go to town putting it all together. And then they call me up and say, hey, um, can I get a replacement hinge? Too, too many other Douglas. Yeah, I snapped it off. Well, do it so by you hand. heard that everybody use a socket. Don't do it. Do it by hand. That. So I forgot I had a diabolical product sitting in the garage here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When we get our Bronco back. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, Mills Creek Overland gets done with our Bronco. Um. What a what is that? ASMR sounds. ASMR. Like? Yeah. No, we don't like that part. Okay. But um, maybe maybe. Yeah. I'll give it. Oh yeah, forgot about this. <laughs> Back on that. Yeah, that's actually, that's that's actually the most popular one we sell, and we just sold out the last one today. So. Oh, and you just opened the last one. That's right. Go <laughs> on our Bronco. I know. No returns. We've got a we got a slight new style coming that doesn't have the skull in it. It's more of the uh, the teak lines that you see kind of like on boats, uh, yeah. and black on black, dark gray on black. Uh, that's the two main colors that we sell a ton of. We still have some of the black and reds, mm-hmm. uh, um, and some light gray and black in that uh, format with the name and the skull on it. Nice, nice. I am I I've. You know, like I said, I reached out to you guys, and I and I don't go after like people like this. I, it was very unusual that I reached out to Alan. Mm-hmm. It was like, holy shit, I, I like this product. <laughs> um, 
Alan, how how is the Bronco community taken to this? I know I, I ask this every time, but I mean, are they still responding well to your product? Yeah, we, you know, and we keep looking at, you know, how do we find that sweet spot of getting the word out there who we are? Um, mm -hmm. Because I still get people calling, hey, I just saw your stuff online or, hey, I, you know, I just saw your stuff because I want to upgrade from the Ford one uh and stuff like that and then they start seeing what all we do and they're like wow that's really cool stuff so um yeah it's more of uh we're doing well with the bronco Good. um we're starting to since sema we've signed up a couple of ford dealers as uh selling direct to them and installing it i did talk to the ford performance guys they'd love to do something with it uh, nice. They just said that it takes a long time to go through. They have to do DOT testing to yeah. get it, you know, approved through there. But that doesn't restrict uh, going to individual dealers to sell it as an accessory direct. Well, nice. and, uh, Johnson City right there. Johnson City, they're a dealer for us. Uh, they've got it in their uh, one of our pop-ups uh, banners and everything and a wall nice. banner. Um, I'm going to stop and see them on Tuesday morning before – driving from Johnson City down to Townsend. All right. so, well, that's a nice long drive. I want to, <laughs> it's not that long. It's you're, like, you're he's out on west. the road all the time. You're out west. Everything's a, you don't it's consider like, everything a long like, drive. What, two hours? Alan, I don't want to drive up. We to drive get... two hours to get to Supercell yeah. from our house. I don't want to go to the convenience store that's literally two blocks away. That's effort, man. Like literally driving two hours is like, holy shit. I might as well just I ordered there. Subway sandwich. I was telling him last night. I ordered Subway sandwiches the other night, and there's a there's one right by our house. Mm -hmm. Didn't take the coupon, but the one a mile up the road took the coupon online. So I was like, okay, I'll I guess I'll have to drive a mile and a half to go get it from this different subway. Just mm -hmm. because we live right in the middle of everything. Like we don't have to drive anywhere. Yeah. Um, William DeGroat did ask, will you guys be at Supercell Nevada again this year? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, the one that's getting is kind of hard for us to figure out if we're going to be able to do it, and it'll be a last-minute decision, is Wisconsin. Well, yeah, Tom yeah. last week had talked about he's. I think you're the only vendor that's made all of them. <laughs> well, last year it worked out great because I was in Michigan for 4th of July with family and everything, and we just – Rochelle and I drove up to Mackinac Island, hung out for a couple of days, had a, you know, a great time along the, you know, the West coast of Michigan. And, you know, we, it's been a very long time since we've done it. We love it. Had a great time, stopped in green Bay, toured the stadium. That was fun. Nice. And then ended up down there for the five days. And then we drove home from there. The problem with this is, well, I won't say it's a problem is they change it to June mm -hmm. and it's, I don't have anything close to that time frame of being out there so we're trying to do you do you want another event to go to the weekend before bantam no <laughs> bantam jeep fest is the week before so and we're not doing that one so um, i kind of bronco, kept us out of the area doing it so there's bronco the mac up in saint ignace is the it weekend, really yeah the weekend before and then some people are heading straight to wisconsin but Send me the send me the link to that. Yeah, because I can give you the email. There's not a there's not a vendor fee. Okay, because like what we're doing is um, since Rochelle's on her girls' vacation right now, princess she's cruise. princess cruise. Um, my son and I are driving out Friday, stopping in Colorado at the Colorado Bronco Upfitters. Uh, they signed up as a dealer, so we're gonna stop in and see them. Drive catch up with you guys on Sunday to help pack and whatever need to be done. Connor gets on a plane Monday morning in Nashville to fly home. I drive over to Johnson city, then down and then, you know, supercell for the time being. And then God, Sunday, hearing this. right. So I think you, take a nap, right? you lost me at meeting. Over oh, no, that's, just the, that's just the first step. So on Sunday morning, I fly, Park, you know, at Knoxville, I fly down to Daytona for Jeep Beach for the week. Rochelle flies in after her Princess Cruise. We fly back to Knoxville and, you know, spend a couple of days in there. We want to check out Teleco Village. Um, shout out to Teleco Village. 
And um, depending on, you know, kind of what's going to happen is we were driving the next three days home. And I'm kind of looking at, because as soon as we get home, four days later, we're jumping on a plane to fly to Michigan for a nephew that's high school graduation and going in the military. So it's kind of support him, you know, where all my family, all my eight siblings and everybody's getting together. So it's big. And then we fly back and then it's kind of like a week later. Oh, a week later, we're doing Overland Expo West driving the Flagstaff. I'm, I need to come out to that one. I, you know, that we have one here and I, it, it's always in the rainy season here. Always. It never fails. Or and we've got softball. Yeah. There's so something. I've got to come out. I've got to do West out there, man. So, Alan, Steve P says we can talk more um, supercell, but I'm concerned about heat with the ridge back on the two door holding it with a fridge and 110 degrees because Steve P is in Phoenix, Arizona. So you holding, get a little. What do you mean holding it? I'm assuming he's concerned about it getting hot in the 110 degrees. So marine deck match will help reduce the heat because it's the same stuff on boats and your feet don't get hot. So it doesn't. Uh, absorb the heat like rubber and everything so that does take the heat away because otherwise that you know bare metal is just like the hood on the car it's going to get hot and you, if yeah. you're in you know 110 degrees that's going to be hot yeah um, it's aluminum too right so it, it'll dissipate it's aluminum so it's not going to be as brutal as the steel uh but yeah so you can do that and then what you can also do is you can put um uh you can put insulation on the underside of the top uh that'll help yeah well, alan's a good one to talk to about all the heat and stuff because he he's out that west area so definitely yeah, yeah. Well, one of the things oh go ahead no i was just say we're we're out here in utah i mean it's not phoenix but it, it gets yep. plenty hot out here and yeah we, we know what 100 is yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> right so one of the things first off i, I like the tax sale so guys, if you want to buy from Alan today, whatever you want to do, tax 24 looks like it's a good code for that. But Alan, one of the things that, that you got us for was this slide out drawer system. Like I that has been so an useful. unbridled Bronco said she's yeah. so glad she got it at yeah. Bronco Stampede last year. It's ridiculously how crazy I use it for just everyday things. Hundred percent. And and of course you can see here you've got optional tie or I I guess it's optional. I don't know if that yeah. came with the kit Well, it com it comes with it. You get one with it, um, okay. and the divider. Yeah, so you can it. you can break this up. Of course, we have the table top. What do you call the top that's up that sits up in? The, in yeah, so we have a deck up there as well. So we can we can put down small stuff like this. If we're off roading, we can set the the deck on top. I don't have to worry about stuff flying around. Plus, we still have you know my princess over here. She's got her, her suitcase full of stuff. Usually, if we're out of town. Well, and one of, and one of the things and one of the things that we've done too is that we've updated this because it's always how can we make it better you know mm -hmm. if there's a way to make it better uh it's not about let's see if we can make it cheaper that's not that's in, the wrong way that's not in the dna is see how there's that uh angled piece for the tailgate bump out mm -hmm. yep right in there um that's potentially a weak point i mean it's 500 pound slides i mean you got to put a lot of weight on there to damage that but what we did is we went straight across from that point um, and what that also does is it, you lose like an inch of depth doing straight across, but that vertical bend goes all the way across. So that way it's more rigid, the tray. Yeah. Um, and it also adds because more people are doing more stuff with tailgate attached stuff. And bigger. And yeah. bigger. So it gives an extra inch. So there's like three and a half inches between that and the tailgate. So you can put plenty of stuff on your tailgate from oh, other yeah, from other companies, we don't make anything for a tailgate, but it works with tailgate installed items. Yeah, we uh, we have a set power refrigerator that we've yes. shoved up. It's the biggest one. I unfortunately ordered the biggest one they had, <laughs> and, um, and uh, it, still fits, it still fits in. I sent Alan pictures about. It. I was like, "Holy hell, this thing actually still fits in this thing." But but just for daily use, like groceries, like we'll slide the damn thing out yep. for groceries or whatever. It's nice. And I wanted or our daughter's catcher's gear. <laughs> we we wanted that goofy Ford system that they had their tailgate. I don't know why it just looked cool, and it would never have been as useful no. as this ever. Mm -mm. And and really, you you're using about the same space the the depth wise that you're kind of using in 
in the the back of it, it's about the same. Well, and I love with the slides that they actually lock in. They're not just automatically going to slide out when you open that door. Yeah. Uh, regardless of what you have in there, you have to push the side. So I appreciate that much because things tend to fall out of the Bronco a little bit yeah. from time to time. Blue skater aids and stuff. Yes, yes. That's the best to keep all the waters back there. The softballs, the softballs. It. Oh, yeah. It was about mm -hmm. balls. We're trying to get some um, uh, samples in of eighth inch thick peel and stick EVA foam. It's really hard to find because everybody does the two layers of it. So it's got two different colors. Right. And if we go one eighth inch, it'll act. I want it to be a um, uh, be able to be attached to the tray. Mm -hmm. And that way the divider still goes because I made the divider to sit an eighth of an inch above it. So that way, if you want to do a rubber mat, Nice. You yeah. know, that works. Like you can go get a bulk rubber mat from Home Depot or Lowe's and cut it to fit and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and that way it's not sliding around on the powder coat, which is slippery. You yeah. know, like I'm I guess sure you, you could probably do. put PPF on that. It might help keep it. Yeah, keep it's it it's too. finding a supplier of it that you know gives everything to us. You know, or yeah. not gives it to us, but I mean uh, that we can offer it. So. Well. You'll see mine's taken a lot of abuse this year and it's uh, still looks great. <laughs> it so. has. It's been loved a lot. Yeah. So the biggest thing too, guys, if you come out to Supercell, you like you can open up our Bronco. Our Bronco will be on display. Allen's will be on display. I know Mark's will, Tudor will be on display. And you get to play with these items. It's not like you're seeing it on the web, which is fun. And you guys do a great job of uh, displaying your products. But to be able to come to one of these trade shows and literally get to feel like, oh, okay, I understand the slide drawers of this. I like how it locks in. You can't experience that on the web. Mm -mm. So in videos, never do this justice. Go back to the picture that is the bare aluminum, the raw aluminum, because it's going to be easier to see it. Uh, no, it's not easy. Not one or the one above it. Shiny. Um, what you know, people can remember is the beauty of our system, it, you know, it doesn't show it on a CAD, right. but that whole forward vertical edge, that's an individual panel that's removable. So when you extend the tray out, you still have full access to your underfloor storage. Yes. yes. Again, that's one of the things that we don't want to take away from what the factory came out with, you know, so you're not, you're not losing functionality of what you got with the vehicle when you bought it. Right. Right. Um, and we actually used that lovely feature recently when we had to. Well, we were looking, we were our looking controller for, for yeah, our controller winch. for a winch. Yeah, I was like, where in the hell did I put that? We oh were, wait, that's us. Yeah, there's yeah. us. See, that's what we that's what we use it for. Literally, on a weekly yes. for sure. Yes, literally. <laughs> Ball games. Oh, okay, kids, just go to the back of the. Bronco. Hey, there's that rhino. That rhino. I know. Got you suckered into. I know. We <laughs> uh, needed it. They, they we needed it anyway. Headed on that picture though. What's that? You, you haven't seen my Photoshop edit on that picture, though, have you? Uh-uh. Look, no. Look at your tailgate table. Uh Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go back up. But we don't make a tailgate table anyway, so that's okay. Yeah. There was a Tuffy sticker on there, if I remember right. <laughs> oh, I see right here. It was. No, it would have been up in the top. Oh, you edited it. No, it was, oh, it was right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Um. But definitely, I, I would recommend you guys, if you're coming out to Supercell, at least stop by and talk to Alan. Alan's nice about showing you the product. Uh, he, I will say, out of they wore you out last year. You were a one-man crew last year, and you never like seem aggravated, like, oh, man, this day needs to be over. The best part is when you he see... He just keeps Alan, going. When you see somebody buy something from Alan, he does his little happy dance, which is yeah. great. And I videoed it and sent it to our daughter, and yeah. she laughed hysterically. You pay for the show, though. Just remember that you it's it's you know you do swipe for the show, but the show's <laughs> worth it. I guarantee it. Um, but in order to get the show, you have to buy at the show. Yes, just yes. saying. That is correct. That is correct. Um, so Alan's got a pallet of stuff coming that I have to pick up for him, put yeah. in our trailer. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, he's put us to work. So one thing Brandon and I were talking about when we first started uh, today, before we got on is Brandon created a code. So if you want just a locker or something like the tax code is, you know, save in half on mats or mollies, yeah. uh, which is great. But if you don't want those right away and you just want a kit, um, all terrain 10, ATN, it, 10. ATN for all terrain nation 10 is a code ATN 10. 
Ten percent off if you um, anything is an individual. Upper case, item. lower case, does it matter? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Well, nice. sweet. So, and we're yeah, doing that. Through, right now, we don't. We're not getting kickbacks on that, by the way. That's just something Alan's doing. It's just something for you guys. So that'll go, that'll go through Monday because come see us at the show. We're going to have some things going on at the show too. Um, again, I'll have some of the prototype stuff there, so uh, that I'll just you know be blowing that out. Uh, if somebody wants to save a few bucks and get a prototype one that's a little bit different, um, or it's got a couple extra holes in it to for us to get things matched up. Didn't we um, say no drilling? Oh, yeah. Drilling on prototypes is okay. Drilling on prototypes works. So. <laughs> Well, the great part of it was watching Alan have to install some of this stuff last year, which she wasn't expecting. But, <laughs> but uh, there was one customer I do remember. There was one customer that wasn't he was ready to make the deal, but he he didn't have the skills to install anything. I don't think so. He definitely was. Alan's like, all right, all I did, right. I did, I did Mark help I did, you. I did two lockers. Mark did his locker, and then I did a full slipstream wall there. Yep, and then we watched somebody attempt to install something of yours that never really finished so um there was that um guys go go over to diabolical uh inc .com. check their products out that way and if you're at supercell you definitely need to come see these guys on our i guess it's just alan sorry um <laughs> but come, come we'll miss you yes we'll miss you brandon uh but come come check out the product at least come say hi we've got stuff on our booth uh we've got some stickers and fun stuff we're uh we're selling some cups and stuff that you may want to purchase to help your uh, your uh, damp supercell, as it were, um, brighten your day. So here's what's cool about it: you come see us, and you're going to get to see Alan. Well, we lube you up, and then you uh, visit Alan, and you're ready to go. <laughs> basically, we're fluffers. Basically, yeah. we're fluffers. Whoa, there you go. Family show. Installation not available this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Alan, I can't wait to see you in a couple of days, man. Uh, hope you guys have a safe trip, and uh, we definitely, uh, we're definitely going to have some fun in Supercell. Yep, looking forward to it. All right, guys, uh, guys, dive out, clean, go check them out. Later, Alan. Bye, Alan. Bye, Brandon. Uh, definitely, uh, Alan's a character, so I definitely recommend going and checking out the product. He's he's, he's so a character. Fun. And you want to you want to talk to him definitely. Yes. See, Mark says, come check us out, because he'll be in the booth, Yeah, Mark's too. got his uh, special AT-AT uh, -AT rep. Mm -hmm. At-at. So you don't want to check that out. All right. It's that time. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't it seem like it was just said it was like 40, <laughs> 50 days before yeah. this? I still have so much I have to do. <laughs> you oh, it. Us, too. Yeah, I've got to get my Bronco. I still have some mountains to metal skids. I got <laughs> like I don't have, and it's raining, so and I have no garage. Um, I'm just trying to get everything done, so I don't have to worry about customer stuff when I'm there. Yeah, speaking of that, speaking of one of your customers, how's this customer's? How's we haven't had a Bronco <laughs> or a Raptor update in quite some time? Honest asked, honest because said, it hasn't, because it hasn't fucking moved. <laughs> right. Well, I, sent you, I sent you the updated picture. Whoever you said it moved, it did not. <laughs> Anna said, "Where's Kelly's bronc or where's Kelly's raptor?" Yeah, Anna's got a kick out of that. So last <laughs> week, y'all don't y'all don't know. So, and Allie knew all this. You didn't like, find you, out for like five days. So how <laughs> mad can you really be? So I don't on the Ford app. You know, it'll show you. And I went ahead and put our VIN in, so the the little raptor shows up in our Ford app. And and I don't pay. Like, there's no reason to pay attention to this thing. And Shibrick over here <laughs> is like, because I, what did I have it initially? I think Dave's Ranger or something like that. I thought I just, I think Ranger. it was just Ranger Raptor. Yeah. So <laughs> didn't never look at it because I can't, I can't start it here from the factory. Like, I don't have the access just yet. And, and so I don't know why. I was I was laying in bed after last week's show. I was because you were because you were sending the Ford account number to Laura to order our Bronco. Oh, yes. yes, our Ford it. Pass stuff. And I was like, "Who the f is Kelly <laughs> Ranger Raptor?" <laughs> like, what? Oh, I was I was livid in a fun way. But Actually, let me see. Let me see what you said because I quote sent it to Laura and I sent oh, it God. to Jess and I sent it. Yeah, yeah. So she she's already taken the before I even take delivery of this damn thing. <laughs> she's so trying funny. to take it over. I'll be that down so somehow. Funny. The Bronco will break down, and you'll be like, well, "That's your problem now, isn't it?" Because I'm no, driving this. Because no joke, Kelly texted me. It was like five or six days before you even knew. 
And yep. I'm like, here I'm thinking like, oh, he'll find out in a day or two. Like me and Kelly will have a good laugh. And then like when Kelly messaged me that you found it, I'm like, wow, that took way longer than expected. So, so he says, you changed the ranger to Kelly's ranger, you motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, this is a family show. Hey, she already said it. I'm just playing. I, I said it. it now. But um, let me bring up. Let me um, bring up the the status <laughs> so y'all can see that nothing has changed. About I did happen to notice this, so this changed. It was in the picture. No, I, I'll bring it up in just a second. But so if you if you're looking on your scheduling and, and you're waiting for this stupid effing pizza tracker to do something. <laughs> Um, and guys, remember, I'm an auto journalist, but I still get excited by this stuff just like you do. And I still go through all the pains. I've got some, I cut the gray hairs out the other day because this is giving me a lot of gray hairs. Oh, you cut them out? Yeah, they're gone. Oh. Um, so I did happen to notice though, Allie, it did, it, the updates will change it, uh, every so often. Like, like I know it, it went from bedliner to it's waiting at the mod, whatever, potentially to yeah. that next step. So when it got I done with bedliner, started. Yeah. But it was neat when it went from Bedliner over to the Mod Center. Like the last update did change and reflected the change, and um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. That it, it does move whether you see this tracker move or not. Yeah. If you pay attention to that last update date, which I don't remember it doing that on Bronco, I just remember them having the tracker up there. Uh, so you know you can. I, I remember know, not trusting the tracker on the Bronco. Yeah, remember the green dots were uh -huh. up here everywhere where they were supposed to be. You know, a lot hey of confidence. Man, we never had to do this before. Leave us alone. <laughs> oh no, I'm not, I'm not picking on them. I just we're going through COVID at the time. You're lucky to have anything. Um, but it, I thought that was pretty neat that that it it did somewhat update. And then uh, here I'll bring up Allie's. Allie did send us a little little update here. I can bring it up. Or, and it doesn't say Kelly's. It doesn't say Kelly's on it. It's a great part. That's, oh. that's what I, I really appreciate about this. Photoshopped it. Hey now, come on now! Don't give me give me more heart attacks over here. <laughs> um, so this is this is basically this is what dealers see. So if you ever bug your dealer, like I bug Allie, I, I've been pretty good. I think don't I've been, bug your dealer. I think I've been pretty don't good on this one. Dealer. Don't bug your dealer. You've well, been you good. Guys, this you week. Girls have to admit, I haven't like the Mustang. I I know towards the end, I just wore your ass out about it, and you were like, "Fuck this guy, man! I'm not selling him anything." But. I've, I've I told really you I had I told you I had to have keys by Thursday to make this happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's no big deal. Oh, we know. Um, he's, he's just gonna cry at Supercell. I I've already prepared him. Yes, I will cry. Uh, but here's the plant, and the mod center is right here. And guess where it's parked? It's just right there by the mod center. So whether it's actually been in there or not, who knows? Um. But you can, uh, this is what your dealership sees. So look, there is no actual de departure. I don't think they see your mouse, by the way. Here, now they yeah. do. There. So uh, there is no uh, departure, no, actually nothing. And this is what dealerships see when you call them and bug in the piss about, hey, where's my thing? And they're like, I don't know. They literally don't know because. I have no idea. It, it should just say, I don't know right there instead of in a, uh, who knows, maybe. Um, or it should just have that emoji that goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> just like mm. so i thought i did th i did find that in was Michigan. yeah uh michael revis uh dave is currently going through single barrel jack daniels again yeah. <laughs> michael knight <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes and that i i swear to god i would allow that like it would not bother me at all i would sign the paperwork if he bring it down to me for one i'm dreading that trip don't Honestly, worry i'm, dre I'm been, dreading it on tuesday I've been to, <laughs> let's see, in the past three weeks, I've been to Michigan, back to Tennessee, um, back to Ohio, Ohio, and then I've still got another trip up there. In, At some point. Yeah, in the next few weeks. So I'm just, I'm over that drive right now. So Michael Nice says, Kelly, did you ever get your price check on the Mustang? So funny story <laughs> about that. Yes, we did. Not, not the one from Ish. the one that I've been working Ish. on. Yeah. So long story short, I went ahead and just put one in on my email address, never sent in the manual appraisal, even though it says you need to send it in. They ended up apparently pulling our window sticker from somewhere and giving us a quote of way low ball. What was it? $41,000. Yeah. On and, a, a car with 3,000 miles. Right. And they're selling them for 54 
No, 57. Oh, no, no, no. I mean on Carvana. Yeah. They're selling for 54 or 55, something like that. Non GT premium, even though it says it's a premium, it's a DG, GT yeah. premium. It's, not. it's very basic. So, but to answer your question about the other, so we are still outstanding waiting for the other one. And honestly, the, the one that I sent six from my eight, other right? email address, I had it in like six days. And now we're like at seven weeks now waiting on a Carvana estimate on the original one. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No, nothing's, it's fine. Don't worry about with Carvana and those things. They're they're doing well. They were great when we did our Jeep. <laughs> yes, they were. They were fantastic. They were fantastic when they did our Jeep. And they should be fantastic when they do our Mustang. I keep telling them they just don't want to buy our Mustang is what it is. Well, summer or spring's coming, man. This is Mustang weather. I know. Probably some Mustang Sally. Oh, going all the old school jams. I'm jam. surprised it's that different. I feel like something would be clicked wrong, like on their side. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Yeah, because they pulled a sticker, so they've got everything. Like they've got all of it. So yeah, so it's way off. That's weird. Yeah. Well, it's it is what it is. Um, we're if we can ever. As soon as we get the Bronco back this week, it's going to a local dealership here, and hopefully they uh, make us a reasonable offer, and they can uh, they can have it. And that means reasonable offer, though. That's not a yeah. That's not a forty thousand dollar offer on a and me dropping seventeen thousand dollars. Like like no, that's not reasonable. Mm -mm. <laughs> not when they're going to turn around and sell it for ten more. Yeah. No, no thank you. Um, Allie, what's going on? Anything besides, besides you just packing up, getting ready? What, anything else coming up for you on a supercell? But you guys got, I know the Michigan stuff you're starting to ramp up for. Weather's starting to get nice. So all your rides and stuff will be on. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So we have, what's today? April. So May, we have cars and coffee at Ford's Garage. May, May 4th. So everyone's already making the May the 4th be with you jokes. Um, <laughs> Where's Mark? I know. Literally right up his alley. Um, I bet you are in Peugeot 40,500. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> Probably actually does. It wouldn't yeah. surprise me. Like, hey, if that guy backs so out. They, so not on yours. Because I've been very clear that they are not backing out of this. No. Um. Because like I even had one of our sales guys that actually you took his spot. He's <laughs> like, "Are you sure they're gonna take it? Like, if not, I'll get it." I'm like, "You have no chance in hell. Like, unless a meteor crash somehow. Like, literally, there's no way." Hey, don't wish that upon us because we're boys. Well, and there was just that. That's clip. the kind of shit that would happen. The raptor, the rapture almost. Rapture. Happened. So. For uh, the raptor rapture? Yeah. The raptor rapture. <laughs> yeah. It's. Yeah. Yeah. There, well, there are actually no backup offers on yours. So. No, but I'm saying is if we were like, Allie, it just can't happen for some stupid. I mean, I've been talking about this damn thing for two years. So there's no effing way that's not going to happen. But I, I guarantee you there's 15 people like, Jump in. So Justin with Mountains to Metal texted me yesterday and he goes, yeah, man, there's a local dealership here has one in stock and they're not asking anything over. They just want wow. it. It's a black one. Once it's gone, he goes, what do you think? I said, I'm the wrong guy to ask these. I'm the wrong guy to ask if you should buy a car or not because. Oh, was he asking for himself or trying to encourage I you to come get it? To get me to talk him into it, basically. Oh, so uh, I was like, hell yeah, go buy it. He goes, well, we need a truck. And I was like, go buy it. What? <laughs> not a question because you for, thing, for especially if, if it has a tow package that's yeah. the thing like if you get rid of it in the next like th like three months because like okay it's not what you thought like yeah. whatever you'll be able to get rid of it within like 30 seconds of it being posted online mm -hmm. yeah like no. that's insane hey, you don't like it six months later you probably break even you probably break even on that on that truck because they are very no, hard to get still ask i'm still gonna take it I both of our names will be on the title. I'm just saying. Yes. Yes. How do we do it? Or we do or. or. Yes. David and or Kelly Boyd. No, the state when we did when we bought the Mustang, they said they couldn't do and or. No. But I hate that TV show, by the way. Andor. It's taking all my willpower not to buy it. Justin Zimmerman. 
You should just buy it. Justin, I, I encourage you. There he is. I knew he was in here somewhere. I knew that if I poked the bear, he'd uh, he'd pop out. Here, um, message, message me. I'll talk you into it. <laughs> wait, not mine. Well, back off. Back off. No, the no, black he said one. it was a black one, uh, which would be, um, great, be a great color. Wait, what? I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting. Oh, yeah. June, Motor City Bronco Fest at Holly Oaks, June 1st. Then the following weekend is Bronco the Mac. Nice. And then, Justin, shut up. Must resist my <laughs> <laughs> Call it a business expense. Seriously, let's get creative here. Mountains of Metal, you know, Mountains of Metal would be itching to make some parts for it that I would yeah. love to try out. So uh, do it for me. Basically, yeah, do it for me. Do it. Oh, do it for, hey, we do didn't it for the people. We didn't. I meant to announce this that uh, we have a press trip coming up. In, I don't know that we can talk yeah, about it. It's not a big deal. Um, you sure? Yeah, we'll be in Palm Springs for a Ford event coming up. That's that's all we'll say right now. So uh, in May, we have a... Uh, oh, that's right. I was supposed to look at that email today, yeah, too. You were. So that's going to be fun. We're going to get to drive something zoomy, zoomy. It's going to make me very, that's very That's all we happy. can say. Very happy. I might shake about it a little bit. That's, no. If that's, any kinda, if that's any kind of hint. Just, I, I feel like I'm doing it now. Just shut up now. So uh, that's coming up for us. And uh, it's been a minute. We haven't been on a press trip in a minute. Since Raptor. Ranger Raptor. No. I mean, not Ranger Raptor. For Ford, it's Bronco been, Raptor. Raptor. Yeah, yeah, for Ford, yeah. So that'll be fun for us. Um, I'm excited for Supercell. I know Kelly just showed you the uh, seven days away. Or, yep, seven days away. I'm ready just to go hang out with some Bronco people. And I will fun. technically already be in Tennessee this time next week. And we uh, next wait, there will not the be show? a. Wait, when's the when's the show next week? There's that's what I was about to say. So next Monday we have a ball game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. So the next the next one will be from Townsend. We'll do a we'll be uh, live. We'll be live in Townsend somehow. We'll do something fun around this this time period, and uh, you know we'll we'll get to talk about silly things. What Michael Rivas, Dave doing an overnight sleep in the Ranger or in the Raptor bed stream. Damn it! I forget. What, there's so many old school people in here. They remember <laughs> that shit. Um, yes. If you'll uh, provide the tonneau cover. See, I, I Justin Zimmerman, my wife has a real estate staging business. It would be a write-off. See, it's no, See, there's you're no already, question. You're running out of excuses. Here's yeah. The, here's the thing. If y'all think Justin should buy that, we have a membership badge over here. If you set, if you set, oh my gosh, get our really? membership badge or Patreon. How's that work for him? Shh. I'm trying to spin this into something. Our Raptor 24 says, my Raptor is on the rails. Current location, Fort Madison, Iowa. That's going the wrong way for you, I was going to say, that's a little weird. Why'd it go up to Iowa? That's just, it's just taking across the USA. It's you want, going? You want them to experience a little bit. You don't want a early, you know, young Ranger Raptor. You want one that's seen the world a little bit. Sure. Create some things. <laughs> uh, mobile, we're actually not going to have to put tires on the Mustang right now. We've actually been very good to it. Like, we've had some fun in it. Don't get us wrong. Bring them out but... a little bit. Just don't look at the rears. No, they're actually pretty they're good. They're actually pretty good. I actually haven't burned them out. I mean, literally, there's only 3,000 miles on this car, Allie. Legit. You're right, because I only rubbed the engine 500 times before y'all took it. We Which rubbed it like six times last night at the I can never ballpark. remember how to do that anymore, by the way. I looked like an asshole last night at the ball fields. I was like, this parent of ours was walking by our thing, so I was like, click, click, and, and went and to And he shut it. it off. No, it started, and he was like, you could see him looking like, oh, shit, that's a Mustang. Hell yeah. And then... um. Yeah, they they uh, I tried to do the Revy thing and shut it off. Like an and idiot. then I did it for it. Imagine that. Nice. Nobody else is gonna buy it, Justin, because it's for you. It's meant for you. It's meant for you. What's meant to be is meant to be, and it's calling your name. I do feel like it was the world saying, Hey. Hey, and look at it this way. If you get it now, we could all oogle over it at Supercell. Yes. I would allow you to put that in my booth. <laughs> and allow you to let me drive it. That's a lie. I don't want to drive it because I no, said the, only, the only time I'll drive one is the press event or our own. So, um, so that's about our show tonight. I, in about 10 minutes or five minutes or so, I have to go live for it's another live for the, uh, the press release for the Toyota forerunner. So if any of my foreigner people that are in here have uh, been waiting, I've seen a few people. I have no about it. There. Justin will figure this out. That's right. That's right. It, it, money is just fake anyways. It's just paper. What it's do you just, mean you have no way to get it there? It's called driving it. I will fly. No, I can't. No, you won't. Damn it. 
Somebody will t- drive it for you over there. Trust me. Awkward. Um, but we, uh, so I'll be over here in just a couple minutes for the reveal of the uh, Forerunner, which I've already have a video <laughs> on because somebody with uh, Forbes magazine f that up for Toyota. But I still said I would do a live reveal. Mm-hmm. And I'm curious. You really haven't got to see it yet, Mm-mm. so I'm curious of your opinions on that. So if you guys want to come over and hang out for the uh, the reveal of the Forerunner, come do that. I know Ali has zero effing interest in a Toyota product, so. I'll suspect we'll see Allie over there. So. I'm, a, I'm a little disappointed in it, honestly, but I think a lot of people are. <laughs> I mean, so. I'm interested. I mean, we're we're gonna have people that shop it a little bit. I just don't think by the I'll comments that I've com- seen. I'll, I'll repeat my comment that I said earlier. I if Ford brings over Everest, I think that'll be competition. Right. Depending the on comments that I've it. seen though, it's it's people are mad. So I, I think it's a great bro. design. I do think it's cool looking. I'm not going to lie. I think it's cool looking. It's just not what they kind of built it up to be, at least in my perspective. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Well, to be honest, gonna, I got a pack, hopefully... so I'm not going to tune in on that one. But I know Fine. our buddy, uh, Tim Estral, he's going to he's actually out there right now. Uh, I think he's going to do a live reveal as well. So, uh, Bird Dog Off Road, it's your birthday and a four. four oh, yeah, I know it's your happy birthday. birthday. That's right. Happy birthday, Jody. Um, guys, if you anytime you ever need to get a hold of us, we have a website, alltrainnation.com. There's a contact thing there. We're on the social medias. You can always contact us that way if you ever have questions or uh, if you need to be talked into buying a product. Instagram. We're here for you. We're your support system to tell you, yes, don't worry about the economy, just buy a new car. <laughs> It's good for the economy. See, you would be helping the economy. Justin, you would be helping the economy. Exactly. I know, Bryce. I know you were joking. I was just giving it back to you. That's right. So, um, well, we better go. I know. So, whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, it only matters what you drive right now if it's a Ford product. That's but right. in about 15 minutes, 10. <laughs> Damn it. I'm not good at this. Bye. You're not. Bye, Allie. See ya. Bye.